Hey YouTube, Loki Silo 93 here. Uh, I'm making a another. This is another video on how to root your Motorola backflip since the last video was pretty crappy. So this is the upgraded version. So what you are gonna want to do is uh, in the link in the description there'll be a link for the Moto drivers and SDK files that you'll need if you don't already have them. Now, if you don't already have them, check out my video on how to download non-market apps on your Motorola Backflip, and it will show you uh, how to download those and stuff like that. So that's what you're going to need. Also, you're going to need a link for the root files, and uh, you need to download that. There will be a link in the description. Download that. Unzip it just right here to your uh, desktop. Go into my computer. Uh, local to C, and then make a file like a, a folder called Moto MSN root. This will be in the description too. I'll show you how to label that. Now, now that that's in there, you want to move those four files you zipped to your <coughs> desktop, and you want to place them in that folder. All right. Now that that's all set up, you want to enable USB debugging on your phone. So if I go into settings. Uh, give me a second here. Settings. General phone settings. You want to scroll down to you see applications, development, and make sure USB debugging is clicked. Alright, now, plug in your phone to your computer using uh, the USB cord. Alright, so here I go. I'm plugging it in. I'll pop up my computer, the Moto, the Moto Connect should say checking for application. Alright, now hit this, hit that. Now make sure you click charge only, not USB drive, charge only. Alright, now that that's all set up, go into your ADB folder, which will have your SDK folder. This is where you need to watch my video on how to download non marked apps on your Motorola Backflip. So then you click this, and then tools and then CMD. Now in CMD just do type in ADB devices oh hold on typed it in wrong ADB devices alright started successfully alright so there's my device right there alright now in the description there will be a whole bunch of uh, codes see codes just like this now just copy and paste these from the description and uh... hit enter so here we go uh... my phone is already rooted so i'm not going to do this as you already know my phone's already rooted so i'm not going to redo it so copy you, d you just hit copy one of that paste enter and that should work fine now keep doing that and then you get down to ADB shell type that in type all these in now after you hit ADB shell a number no a uh, a money symbol will pop up then you type in then you copy paste cd forward slash data forward slash local forward slash tmp enter and then the same with these two now what you're going to want to do now is I'm just going to disconnect my phone what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to go to the market and you want to download something called uh, ConnectBot so here it is ConnectBot now when you open up ConnectBot here is SSH, SSH. then you want to hit local and type in a nickname so say I'll use Loki done So I've used it, and a money sign should pop up again. What you're going to want to type into this is, this will be in the description too, cd space forward slash data forward slash local forward slash tmp, hit enter, then another money sign will pop up, then hit dot forward slash r-a-g-e-a-g-a-i-n-s-t-t-h-e-c-a-g-a-r-m. Uh, 
5.bin. So there it is right there. That will be in the description, so uh, don't worry about it. And then, you'll hit enter, and a whole bunch of letters will pop up. And, uh, not letters, but, uh, yeah, like, uh, codes and shit like that will pop up. But you're just gonna wait. You're gonna wait until you see this. You'll type it in right here. Forked. Forked. And then, X, 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 X. Which, those X's will be actually numbers like 230, or, uh, something like that. Childs. When you see that, right there, you wanna hit menu. Right here, you wanna hit menu. Disconnect. Now, sometimes this program will force close or whatever and shit like that, so you just gotta get it to work, and if you don't get forked XX child, redo this step right here, CD data, local TMP, and the other one. Now, you might need to reboot your phone, you might not, it all depends. Now, reopen ConnectBot, and if a force close thing comes up, uh, just say force close and then reopen it and it should work. Now, local, Loki, do the same thing done. Now, in the top left corner, it should no longer be a money sign. It should be a number symbol. If you have a number symbol, then you're on the right track. If you don't, you need to redo that step right there. Alright, so you have the number symbol. You want to type in forward slash data local forward slash tmp forward slash install dash root dot sh that will be in the description right there now after you hit enter if it comes up as a blank script and it just has a number symbol then you've been successfully rooted so see this is just a quick tutorial now if i go into uh... menu you should have a super user app right here super user now these will be all your applications that are uh... Uh, what should I say? Um, these will be all your root applications right here. So I have Shoot Me, which allows you to uh, um, take a snapshot of your screen. I have CatchMate for you users, Droid Help, Droid Root Helper, uh, Titanium Backup. Here's the log of when I started them, shit like that, settings, all that stuff. So you've been successfully rooted if you followed those steps. Make sure to check out my other vid videos, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, thank you, peace.